Hello Cancer, welcome to your love readings. We're gonna be looking at what's coming your way in love. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Cancer watching. Uh, so don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading. Check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign for additional messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box, along with information on my personal readings, Oracle decks, my book, all that fun stuff is in the description box. All right, so let's jump right in for your readings. Birds, angels, guides. What do we need to know for Cancer? Regarding love, what is coming their way in love for Cancer? What's coming their way in love for Cancer? What's coming their way in love? Hmm. We got Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and successful. So instantly I'm thinking of like the King of Pentacles here. Okay, we have unexpected event and then fearless, motivated, and bold. Bottom of the deck taking action. So someone could definitely be um, motivated to take some sort of action here. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, but I'm also getting almost like this energy of someone who is very grounded, stable, sta ex established. <laughs> um, I wonder what this tower is about though. It could be that someone's actions surprise you. It could be some sort of unexpected events that are taking place. We'll see. We will see what's going on here. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, things for cancer regarding love and relationships. Can Cancer expect in love? What can Cancer expect in love? All right, let's see. We have the Three of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Swords reversed, the Ten of Swords reversed, the World. The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Oh my God. Interesting. Overall um, energy is the star reversed. Aquarius energy. Yeah, I was, it makes sense because I was looking all, all these energies up here and I was like, this does not look that great. <laughs> Something's off um, on what's what you can expect. So the top. Uh, energies here are kind of what's coming your way in love um, what can you expect and then the bottom energies are like where it's all headed next and I see a complete turnaround here so even though the top doesn't really look so great the bottom is at least indicating that there will be something good that will be happening an ace of wands the world the knight of wands is definitely that taking action energy that we were just talking about so we'll see what the heck is going on because the three of pentacles reverse ace of swords reverse ten of swords reverse i feel like something ended recently or is ending now that where maybe two people weren't working well together maybe there were fights arguments deception we'll see what this is all about um and the star at the very top here reverse is almost like a sign for a, uh, some, um, a person that may be feeling hopeless, someone losing faith, losing hope, uh, something needing to still heal. So let's see what this is all about. Tell me about the star reverse. Why is the star reverse? Why is the star reverse? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Someone's overwhelmed, burned in. Uh, maybe they have a lot going on. This could also be someone's health not doing you know someone that uh, their health is affected their mental health as well okay we have the moon pisces energy so i feel like this is yeah someone i feel is has lost hope maybe things haven't been you know maybe they haven't been doing well or things just in general are not good when it comes to love or when it comes to a particular connection so okay let me get one more for the star reverse. 
Why is the star reverse? Why is the star reverse? Oh, I got two. Page of Pentacles and the Chariot. Cancer energy. Yeah. I feel like there's definitely something happening here. Yeah, there's justice. Bottom of the deck, Libra energy. It's like justice is here to ensure that things are not going to stay the way that they are. Um, there could be some sort of movement with the chariot that someone's taken. Now, the chariot is all about being on the path towards success. You are on the right path. You are moving quickly towards victory. And the page of pentacles can symbolize an opportunity arriving. And I feel like it's coming at a time where someone needs it the most. So what's this three of pentacles reversed doing here, spirit? Why is the three of pentacles reversed? Why is the three of pentacles reversed? Queen of pentacles. Okay, 10 of cups, six of pentacles, and the king of wands. What's this? The magician and the four of cups. Yeah, again, same energy. I feel like someone has kind of, maybe they were given up or had given up on something, but I feel like there is something happening here with the magician, something very special. Um, the Three of Pentacles reverses typically a card about not able, uh, someone that's not able to collaborate, not able to work together. Sometimes it can symbolize an interference. Um, and then the Six of Pentacles is here, which is telling me almost like someone's trying to balance this out. Someone's trying to fix this because clearly something is not working with the Three of Pentacles reversed. If someone is putting in work, it's not good enough. King of Wands, air sign, I mean, not air sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And then the Queen of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But for me, I'm looking at these two almost like maybe a pair. This could be you uh, or Cancer, this King of Wands, or you could be this Queen of Pentacles. But I feel like this King of Wands is interested in a Queen of Pentacles and making things right with their partner. Um, if you are single, then I feel like this is the possibility of meeting someone new uh, maybe you haven't been dating the right people maybe you know you put in more effort than other people when you're dating and then all of a sudden someone comes in that gives you the equal effort with the six of pentacles but i think a lot of you are dealing with a person who perhaps is helping you out of this hopeless energy um but something here has not been working out because i have the ace of swords reverse and also the ten of swords reverse so Tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? The Lovers, Gemini energy. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Page of Wands. Hmm. Can I get one more? trying to think that this, this ace of swords reverse is probably just something that hasn't been said why is ace of swords reverse five of cups and the king of pentacles i think someone hasn't maybe they regret not telling you something because all these other energies are not negative energies um the two of swords is at the bottom of the deck so maybe someone was undecided about how they felt or undecided about telling you something specific. I feel like this is a blocked message. And the page of wands is here, almost as if to say if someone's willing to take the initiative to start something. Again, I feel like this could be for a single uh, cancer or um, a cancer that has already had some sort of partner. Now, the King of Pentacles, for me as a reader, tends to already be in a commitment. Um, but sometimes they can just symbolize someone that's very grounded, practical, this energy that showed up here. So let's see what's going on with this Ten of Swords reverse. Why is the Ten of Swords reverse? Why is the Ten of Swords reverse? Four of Cups. 
I feel like um, something ended recently or is ending now where someone has not been happy for some time or they are still processing what happened and just not dealing well with it. You know, this could be somebody that is disinterested, dissatisfied, could even be depressed. Yeah, Eight of Swords. I feel like someone is still not, um, not processing whatever happened here very well. Maybe they feel burdened, that Ten of Wands. Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Some of you, I feel like um, this Ten of Swords reverse symbolizes a really bad ending that has already taken place. And maybe you've been wanting to talk things out, work things out, but you don't know how to start, or uh, maybe you don't think the other person's interested, or you can flip that energy a bit, because it could be your person feeling that way. But the Four of Cups and the Eight of Swords, when they're together, I think of someone that's like constantly going over the same thing over and over. They can't focus on anything else but what is right in front of them, what has already happened, the mistakes that have happened, the heartache, the difficulty that has happened. I feel all of this is happening at once. And it's almost like there's a shift happening that maybe you're not aware of with the moon, like some sort of direction you're headed that you might not know. Or there's something that you're just not aware of. Maybe this message hasn't been sent. Um, maybe this is someone thinking about a message, but they just haven't sent it. Um, there's a lot of different messages here. So let's keep going and see what all this is about down here with, with this big turnaround. The world, the Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Six of Cups. Why is the world here? Ace of Swords. Yeah, that's this Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone was holding back. And again, this could be someone from your past. This could be somebody you're meeting now. Maybe they were slow to talk to you. Or maybe this is someone from the past that's been slow to talk to you as well. Um, but I feel like this is a very sweet message. Maybe this is a message about the past. Maybe this is a message from a soulmate. Um, regardless, I feel like someone was holding back this message. And now that they're coming forward with this message, there's like a new cycle that can start here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Three of Cups. Interesting. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Sun. And then the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like some of, some of you, this is a person that wants to reconnect. And I feel like they're, it's like they're motivated, you know, motivated, bold, wanting to take action, wanting to come forward with this Knight of Wands because they feel, wow, and the Three of Swords after this and the Eight of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. So this could very well be someone wanting to literally work on things after an ending has passed here, perhaps. This could also be somebody that's fresh out of heartbreak or they've had their own share of heartbreak. And, you know, they see you, they meet you, and it's like, this is it. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I keep thinking of Sagittarius. I'm not sure why. But I keep thinking about Sagittarius or Libra. Those are the ones that I keep, like, they're just going in my mind. I keep seeing those signs. So you could be dealing with someone with those signs in their chart all of this is leading to a new beginning uh, the world and the ace of wands something very uh, beautiful passionate an adventure tell me about this ace of wands we have the lovers here this the six of cups so this could very well be a soulmate tell me about the ace of wands the high priestess why is the ace of wands here the magician Okay, this is kind of interesting. You just kind of make some room here. So you can see what I'm doing. 
I got one more for the Ace of Wands. Cancer, you might have been manifesting this. You or this other person. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Nine of Swords. Four of Pentacles. This is that person that's been afraid to uh, speak up or has, has been afraid to kind of reach out here. Interesting. Why, what's this magician about? Eight of Wands. Movement, action. The Ace of Cups. Wow. Yeah. I mean, look at this energy. This is definitely somebody that wants to manifest some sort of movement, action that leads to love. Um, however, the the High Priestess and the Nine of Swords is almost like someone has held back, kept silent um, because they're worried or afraid. Eight of Swords is here as well. Um, not sure why. Tell me about this Nine of Swords and the High Priestess. Why is the Nine of Swords and the High Priestess here? Judgment. So this could be somebody worried that they might not get another chance with you. This could be somebody worried that perhaps... I'm, I'm almost getting this message of like their call isn't answered. Like in, instead of someone on the other line, they just hear a dial tone. Metaphorically speaking, of course. <laughs> And there's the Eight of Pentacles. And I think that this is why maybe they're working so hard or they're so focused and motivated. I don't think they want to be rejected. I don't think they want to be blocked or hung up on or ignored. You know, left on red. <laughs> um, so let's get some more insight into this other person. Spirit, tell me about this other person's energies towards Cancer. And Cancer, I feel like... By the way, here you are with uh, the chariot. But I feel like you're a little bit in the, in the dark here. And some of you are definitely dealing with a Sagittarius. I don't know what's going on, but like I've been wanting to say Sagittarius like five times now. I probably have in this reading. Um, can I get some insight into this other person's spirit? This other person that Cancer has been is or will be dealing with what are their energies towards cancer what are their energies towards cancer what are their energies towards cancer spirit what are their energies towards cancer at this time what do we need to know about what they're thinking cancer when i miss you i look at photos of you and what's at the bottom of the deck the path i am on is leading me straight to you beautiful energy so I feel like when I miss you I look at photos of you this person knows you or um, you know they there has to have been a history here between you and this person even if it's a small one for them to miss you a lot of you this is an ex let me get um, before I wrap this up let me get some insight into this unexpected event. What's this unexpected event about? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this unexpected event? Six of Swords. What's this? And the Seven of Wands. Can I get one more? This could be someone coming over. Move some sort of movement with. A, it's making me think of this chariot. Tell me more about this unexpected event. The King of Swords. Yeah, someone could definitely be coming over to communicate. This Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords energy, Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone needs to tell you something. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to lead to what well, they are hoping at least. It leads to a reconnection. They're hoping to reconnect. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already for more readings from me. And I will we'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.